Well, if you saw my previous video, you know that I had a large tree taken down, a fine tree. I'm awful cheap, so uh, I only had them take it down, not haul it off. And, uh, I'm going to cut it up and haul it off myself. And as I was doing that, I got to thinking, I've had this still saw for uh, about three years. I thought I might just do a review on it, a three-year homeowner review, basically. So as I was cleaning this up, I was thinking it sure would be nice if there was another one of me. So uh, I went ahead and made another one of me, just so I could clean up this a little bit faster. Anyway, the saw is a MS-180 CBE. It is the Easy Start model of the MS-180 and uh, uses a narrow curve chain and bar, which I'll uh, talk about more in detail in a minute. So I think you can see that for, for limbing, for uh, small stuff, six inches in diameter, that kind of stuff, it does a fabulous job. Uh, it just cuts through it like butter. And honestly, that's probably what it's made for. It has more than enough horsepower to cut through just about anything, but it may take you a little longer than the big saws, but again, it's a homeowner saw. That's what it's for. It will fell trees. I'm taking down a small post oak in the back, my backyard. I also used this last year when I had a tree fall in my front yard. That tree was probably about 18 inches in diameter at the bottom. And uh, it took a while, but I did get through it. You can see the pictures of how big it was. I don't have any video of that, unfortunately. But back to the task at hand, I think you can see that it, it makes pretty quick work of, of this uh, pretty large pine tree and its limbs. So let's talk about the easy start. You don't pull it like a regular chainsaw. You basically just easily pull the rope until it winds itself up and then it, it does all the work for you. Uh, this is great if you have uh, bad shoulders, bad back, because you're not having to yank on a chainsaw. Also the nice thing about this, being a still, it always starts. And basically the starting procedure is pull out the choke all the way, Crank it over until you hear it pop once. Put the choke in halfway. When you do this, the throttle is all the way on. Pull it with the choke halfway. It'll start immediately and then start revving on it. That'll close the choke and uh, rev it up for a few seconds and it's ready to go. I think you can see I had a little fun when I was doing this video of, of starting this thing. You can see how basically easy it is to start, especially when it's warm. It takes one easy pull and it it starts right up. It is an easy start. As far as any problems we've ha I've had with this thing, nothing. The easy start works. Don't yank on it. If you yank on it, you'll break it. Uh, the chain adjuster, which is another nice feature of this thing, it's really easy to use. You don't need wrenches. It works. It keeps the chain the right tension all the time. I rarely ever have to adjust it. Easy on fuel. The only downside to this saw is the blade width. It does not take a big heavy cut, and that's probably because it's a little underpowered. It's a homeowner saw. You don't really get chips out of it, you get sawdust out of it. And that's not a big deal, but when you're cutting larger stuff, it means you sometimes have to go pretty slow through it because it's just not taking a big chunk of cut out of it. And it seems like it takes a long time to cut through stuff. But it's a homeowner saw. It's meant to be used a couple times a year when you need it. And when you need a chainsaw, you need a chainsaw. You know, tree comes down across your driveway and you gotta go to work. You need a chainsaw. For the money, I'd recommend this to anybody. You know, I sometimes hear a, a, a complaint about still that you can only get them at authorized dealers and whatnot. But I think people sometimes think about that the wrong way. The place where I bought this saw is a little mom and pop hardware store that probably wouldn't still be in business if it wasn't still do
So if you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. It doesn't matter to me. If you like what you see, subscribe. Please do. Hit the notification bell below. Let you know when I publish a new video. As always, thanks for watching.